The National Mall in Washington has seen a lot over the years, but this was a first, a 40-foot oil well. And that wasn't all. There were horse races, Korean dancers, and hambone music from Sea Island, Georgia. Hambone, hambone, where you been? All around the world and back again. It was all part of this summer's 16th annual Festival of American Folklife, co-sponsored by the Smithsonian Institution and the National Park Service. To salute the 100th anniversary of diplomatic relations with the U.S., Koreans traveled from around the world to share their music and traditions, including making hats of horsehair and bamboo, just like they have for 600 years. But the spotlight was on Oklahoma, celebrating their diamond jubilee of 75 years of statehood. Nearly a hundred proud Oklahomans participated in the festival. Did you see my rose rock? Put your hand out. Why don't you hold it? This rose rock is found only in the state of Oklahoma. But if you go out on the country road around Norman. They may have even washed right up to the surface, or maybe it'll be sticking out just a little bit, and you'll say, by golly, there's a rose rock. It takes about 100 hours for the woodworking on it, and then it takes maybe several weeks or months to get the varnishing done because it dries so slow. It's been a hobby, and it, and it pays its way, you know. The Indian culture of Oklahoma was also well represented with ceremonial beadwork and ribbon work, even the making of drums. And there were cowboys and cowgirls too, though some found it harder than it looked. Everybody's favorite was the quarter horses, said to be the third largest industry in Oklahoma. Though they didn't race a quarter mile this time, it was a pretty impressive 250 yards. Here at the Smithsonian, I'm Ann Carroll.